While visiting Nairobi, I decided to visit Mount Longanut. It's a dormant volcano two hours drive from the capital Nairobi in Kenya. I arrived at about 2.30pm and the lady at the gate warned me not to be too slow, otherwise it could get dark before I get back. Going up the mountain and then round the volcano usually takes groups of hikers around five hours. However, I had to get back to Nairobi soon, so I needed to do it in about two hours to give myself time to catch my flight. The lady at the gate also warned me that there were lots of groups of large wild animals on the path up to the volcano, so she re recommended a guide because I was on my own. I've never been near a dangerous animal in the wild before, well, apart from the occasional swan on Regent's Canal, so I opted to use a guide. This was Daniel, my excellent guide for the afternoon. Good, yeah, it's really nice. So we're on Mount Longanot here. We're just beginning the descent up. You can see in the distance there, that's the rim. This is my guide. Yeah, I'm Daniel. Can you introduce yourself? My name, I'm, I'm Daniel. This is Daniel. Yeah, I just walk to the rim of the crater. Then you go around the crater. It's about 13.2 kilometers. Okay. Or in total. He set off at an yep. eye-watering pace, wearing sandals and carrying a large stick. The visitor centre has an elevation of around 2,150 metres, and the summit of the volcano is at 2,776 metres. The trail just got really steep. Beautiful views around. This is the Rift Valley and volcanoes in the distance. Somewhere down there is my guide Daniel. He's shouting. Shall I wait? Okay. All right. I think he's saying, carry on and he'll catch up. The distance of the round trip is around 12 kilometers. All the footage was recorded on my phone, which is why it looks so bad. I'm from the relatively flat London, England, and I have no experience with running at elevation, running abroad, or running on mountains. It's pretty quiet. Let's check, check back in soon. So about two and a half kilometers in, <clears throat> That's the rim up there where that little hut is. And the view down just got a bit more amazing. Just past a point called Lake Viewpoint, understandably. And uh, over there, a little bit concerning. Quite a lot of rain coming in, it looks like. And the wind is blowing this way, so hope it don't get too cold and wet because I've got very little in the way of extra clothing. This is pretty much it. And I've got three bottles of water in my pack. Lost Daniel a while ago. <sighs> Hope he's okay. He's uh, told me to wait, but I'll probably just get started running around the rim and he can wait for me at the point where I come back. Apart from the zebras that we saw, yes, saw earlier, no signs of any animals. A couple of flies, but that's it. I'll check in at the top. Just coming up to the top here. Wow. All right. This is the uh, inside the volcano. Never seen inside a volcano before. Looks pretty nice, actually. Apparently there are wildebeest living in there at the moment, so definitely not going anywhere near that. Here's where I came, the view. Looks like we might miss the rain, it's sort of just passing by the mountain. Maybe it's been pushed away. Uh, looking for Daniel, no sign, so I'm gonna start going round. <coughs> that bit over there looks pretty interesting. Uh, it's probably less dramatic than it seems, but uh, all right. 
I'm going to call back to my taxi that's right down there somewhere and ask, see if he can ask the reception which way is best to go. Right, hot news. I didn't manage to get hold of the taxi driver. Maybe he's asleep. But I found Daniel. Uh, somewhere down there. Don't know if you can see him. Oh, yep, there he is. He's shouting at me something. I don't know what it is. I think he's saying go right. Which is this way. Um, on my right is this way. We will see. I'll wait for him to get a bit closer and then start running. There's a very runnable path, this one. I'll try not to overdo it because directly to my left is a very, very steep drop. To the right, though, amazing views. We're probably about, I don't know, 50 to 100 kilometers away. Lots of ups and downs on this little bit here. Still no sign of any creatures. Which I'm, I'm just a bit happy about. We've got that monster over there. It's climbing a moment, so should be interesting. Right, I'm at the top of the first mound of three. Those are the other two. What I'm getting increasingly concerned about is that thunderstorm, which I can hear rumbling in the distance. I think I should be much better prepared, got zero in the way of extra kit, I'm boiling hot at the moment, but I think it's 3,000 metres here. Um, so if the weather were to change suddenly, um, you could even be in some pretty serious trouble. My plan is just to not stop until I get back to the starting point. Try and stay warm. I've got my phone on me that's fully charged, so I can call for help, but what actually would arrive in the way of help is a little bit debatable. Can't exactly send a helicopter, because there are none. And uh, the nearest guide is David, who's somewhere, hopefully, over there. Not doubting his commitment to me and loyalty to his clients, but it starts raging a storm. I doubt he's gonna bust himself to get around here. That's the uh, very noisy thought storm. It does seem to be passing by, and I'm on the right mount part of the mountain if it does clip the edge of the trail of this rim. So Focusing on here at the moment because it's nice and clear over there. And uh, currently climbing the second, second big, big uh, mound here and uh, checking at the very top. Still not at the top. I thought this was a pretty neat path to record for a bit. They have massive, massive flooding problems apparently here. Hence all the sandbags. And hence this intense looking, oh, it's a, almost a canyon, just a channel really, but it's been eroded by the, by the rainwater. <laughs> Can't imagine being here with this as a river. Let's hope I, I never do. Oh, I'm at Mount Longanut Summit, and aside from the pile of trash here, it is an amazing, amazing view. Oh. I think I should feel more scared being all the way up here, but it's just unbelievable views. Unbelievable. I hope this camera man manages to capture about 10% of what I can see, because it is quite stunning. So it's uh, 2,780 kilometers. Kieli Ngamia, that's where we are. So that storm over there is uh, even more worrying now because 
well I was aware of that one but I didn't know that one was there hopefully it's just going to follow the same path as that one and not hit the crater seems like we've got a few kilometers in between us and the storm so I'm just going to peg it around this side of the hill hopefully not fall on my ass on the way down hopefully not drop my phone which if you're watching this then I probably haven't or at least it didn't break and uh, yeah I'll check in when I'm back at the uh, turnaround point and time to go down and we'll find out if David's either waiting for me or if he's or if he's giving chase I, uh, I prefer it if he was waiting to be honest because I'm not hanging around cool we're here now well done. thank you here's David and Good we're idea. we're just been running here on these very hard hills much harder than I expected very slow going up even slower going down because it's, steep. it's very steep very steep and I fell a few times but yeah all good now all right here we are back at the start back yep. at the little hut wow. there's a silver well bird done. how was that David did we do well it was nice good yeah cool bit uh, hard but uh, we have conquered good <laughs> we'll the next bit so it's downhill good it's gonna take a few minutes all right cool yeah cool. so here we are 25,000 meters and uh 17.7.2 km's done yeah. and now we're going back down over yeah. there so let's head it all right so we're nearly all the way down the mountain and uh, David's just informed me that there's a herd of buffalo straight ahead. And uh, he says, I said, is that good or bad? He said, it's very dangerous. So, I uh, <coughs> wonder if they'll be on the path, or if we'll have to go around or, or wait. So David's throwing stones and making very loud noises. Well, quite loud. So I think the buffaloes are just to our left here. if I really want to. Can we see them? <gasps> wow. Gosh. Wow. Very big animals. I think we're safe now. I managed to get back to the visitor centre in just under my target time of two hours and I managed to get my flight. This run was by far the most spectacular I've ever been on. I highly recommend it. Doing it early in the morning just before the sun rises on a clear day is probably the best time to do it.